everybody, Dr. Emily here from the Evidence-Based Fitness Academy. I want to take a couple minutes to speak to you about tibial femoral external rotation and how this is often associated with low gear push-off, which ultimately compromises your push-off power. Now we know that most of our power lies within the transverse plane. And if we think about that and we focus on that in the lower extremity, the foot plays a critical role in how much power in the transverse plane you can take advantage of. Now we know that there are two push-off positions. We have a high gear push-off position. And if you look at my back leg, specifically how the knee is in line with the foot, where the foot is going maximally over that great toe, that would be considered a high gear push-off. It's associated with hallux dorsiflexion, inversion of the subtalar joint, and external rotation driving all the way into the hips, into the glutes. Now the second type of a push-off is going to be a low gear push-off. Now in that low gear push-off, we deviate off of the great toe and we start to go into this transverse plane. Transverse plane foot, not transverse plane leg.